こんにちは。英語のシャドーイング練習教室へようこそ。司会のシャドウです。ここでは役立つ英会話を練習してネイティブ英語を身につけよう。ビジネスプレゼンで使える英語フレーズを10個、10回ずつ読み上げるから、その後に声に出して10回練習しよう。それじゃあ、始めるよう。Ladies and gentlemen, today, we embark on a journey into the world of business strategy, specifically exploring the advantages of taking a company public through an initial public offering IPO. Going public is a strategic decision that can have profound implications for a company's growth, visibility, and financial strength. In this speech, I will elucidate the merits of pursuing an IPO, supported by real world examples. Ladies and gentlemen, today, we embark on a journey into the world of business strategy, specifically exploring the advantages of taking a company public through an initial public offering IPO. Going public is a strategic decision that can have profound implications for a company's growth, visibility, and financial strength. In this speech, I will elucidate the merits of pursuing an IPO, supported by real world examples. Ladies and gentlemen, today, we embark on a journey into the world of business strategy, specifically exploring the advantages of taking a company public through an initial public offering IPO. Going public is a strategic decision that can have profound implications for a company's growth, visibility, and financial strength. In this speech, I will elucidate the merits of pursuing an IPO, supported by real world examples. Ladies and gentlemen, today, we embark on a journey into the world of business strategy, specifically exploring the advantages of taking a company public through an initial public offering IPO. Going public is a strategic decision that can have profound implications for a company's growth, visibility, and financial strength. In this speech, I will elucidate the merits of pursuing an IPO, supported by real world examples. Ladies and gentlemen, today, we embark on a journey into the world of business strategy, specifically exploring the advantages of taking a company public through an initial public offering IPO. Going public is a strategic decision that can have profound implications for a company's growth, visibility, and financial strength. In this speech, I will elucidate the merits of pursuing an IPO, supported by real world examples. Ladies and gentlemen, today, we embark on a journey into the world of business strategy, specifically exploring the advantages of taking a company public through an initial public offering IPO. Going public is a strategic decision that can have profound implications for a company's growth, visibility, and financial strength. In this speech, I will elucidate the merits of pursuing an IPO, supported by real world examples. Ladies and gentlemen, today, 
We embark on a journey into the world of business strategy, specifically exploring the advantages of taking a company public through an initial public offering IPO. Going public is a strategic decision that can have profound implications for a company's growth, visibility, and financial strength. In this speech, I will elucidate the merits of pursuing an IPO, supported by real-world examples. Ladies and gentlemen, today, we embark on a journey into the world of business strategy, specifically exploring the advantages of taking a company public through an initial public offering IPO. Going public is a strategic decision that can have profound implications for a company's growth, visibility, and financial strength. In this speech, I will elucidate the merits of pursuing an IPO, supported by real-world examples. Ladies and gentlemen, today, we embark on a journey into the world of business strategy, specifically exploring the advantages of taking a company public through an initial public offering IPO. Going public is a strategic decision that can have profound implications for a company's growth, visibility, and financial strength. In this speech, I will elucidate the merits of pursuing an IPO, supported by real-world examples. Ladies and gentlemen, today, we embark on a journey into the world of business strategy, specifically exploring the advantages of taking a company public through an initial public offering IPO. Going public is a strategic decision that can have profound implications for a company's growth, visibility, and financial strength. In this speech, I will elucidate the merits of pursuing an IPO, supported by real-world examples. Access to capital markets, the foremost merit of going public is access to capital markets. Let's consider the case of a tech startup. Access to capital markets, the foremost merit of going public is access to capital markets. Let's consider the case of a tech startup. Access to capital markets, the foremost merit of going public is access to capital markets. Let's consider the case of a tech startup. Access to capital markets, the foremost merit of going public is access to capital markets. Let's consider the case of a tech startup. Access to capital markets, the foremost merit of going public is access to capital markets. Let's consider the case of a tech startup. Access to capital markets, the foremost merit of going public is access to capital markets. Let's consider the case of a tech startup. Access to capital markets, the foremost merit of going public is access to capital markets. Let's consider the case of a tech startup.
Access to capital markets. The foremost merit of going public is access to capital markets. Let's consider the case of a tech startup. Access to capital markets. The foremost merit of going public is access to capital markets. Let's consider the case of a tech startup. Access to capital markets. The foremost merit of going public is access to capital markets. Let's consider the case of a tech startup. This innovative startup had developed groundbreaking technology but needed substantial funds to scale up its operations. By going public, they raised significant capital from the stock market, allowing them to invest in research, development, and marketing. This influx of funds propelled them to become an industry leader. This innovative startup had developed groundbreaking technology but needed substantial funds to scale up its operations. By going public, they raised significant capital from the stock market, allowing them to invest in research, development, and marketing. This influx of funds propelled them to become an industry leader. This innovative startup had developed groundbreaking technology but needed substantial funds to scale up its operations. By going public, they raised significant capital from the stock market, allowing them to invest in research, development, and marketing. This influx of funds propelled them to become an industry leader. This innovative startup had developed groundbreaking technology but needed substantial funds to scale up its operations. By going public, they raised significant capital from the stock market, allowing them to invest in research, development, and marketing. This influx of funds propelled them to become an industry leader. This innovative startup had developed groundbreaking technology but needed substantial funds to scale up its operations. By going public, they raised significant capital from the stock market, allowing them to invest in research, development, and marketing. This influx of funds propelled them to become an industry leader. This innovative startup had developed groundbreaking technology but needed substantial funds to scale up its operations. By going public, they raised significant capital from the stock market, allowing them to invest in research, development, and marketing. This influx of funds propelled them to become an industry leader. This innovative startup had developed groundbreaking technology but needed substantial funds to scale up its operations. By going public, they raised significant capital from the stock market, allowing them to invest in research, development, and marketing. This influx of funds propelled them to become an industry leader.
This innovative startup had developed groundbreaking technology but needed substantial funds to scale up its operations. By going public, they raised significant capital from the stock market, allowing them to invest in research, development, and marketing. This influx of funds propelled them to become an industry leader. This innovative startup had developed groundbreaking technology but needed substantial funds to scale up its operations. By going public, they raised significant capital from the stock market, allowing them to invest in research, development, and marketing. This influx of funds propelled them to become an industry leader. This innovative startup had developed groundbreaking technology but needed substantial funds to scale up its operations. By going public, they raised significant capital from the stock market, allowing them to invest in research, development, and marketing. This influx of funds propelled them to become an industry leader. Liquidity for investors and employees, the second advantage centers around liquidity. Imagine an e-commerce company. As a private company, their employees and early investors held shares that were liquid. Going public provided these stakeholders with an opportunity to sell their shares on the open market. This not only rewarded their contributions but also attracted top talent through stock-based compensation packages. Liquidity for investors and employees, the second advantage centers around liquidity. Imagine an e-commerce company. As a private company, their employees and early investors held shares that were liquid. Going public provided these stakeholders with an opportunity to sell their shares on the open market. This not only rewarded their contributions but also attracted top talent through stock-based compensation packages. Liquidity for investors and employees, the second advantage centers around liquidity. Imagine an e-commerce company. As a private company, their employees and early investors held shares that were liquid. Going public provided these stakeholders with an opportunity to sell their shares on the open market. This not only rewarded their contributions but also attracted top talent through stock-based compensation packages. Liquidity for investors and employees, the second advantage centers around liquidity. Imagine an e-commerce company. As a private company, their employees and early investors held shares that were liquid. Going public provided these stakeholders with an opportunity to sell their shares on the open market. This not only rewarded their contributions but also attracted top talent through stock-based compensation packages.
Liquidity for investors and employees, the second advantage centers around liquidity. Imagine an e-commerce company. As a private company, their employees and early investors held shares that were liquid. Going public provided these stakeholders with an opportunity to sell their shares on the open market. This not only rewarded their contributions but also attracted top talent through stock-based compensation packages. Liquidity for investors and employees, the second advantage centers around liquidity. Imagine an e-commerce company. As a private company, their employees and early investors held shares that were liquid. Going public provided these stakeholders with an opportunity to sell their shares on the open market. This not only rewarded their contributions but also attracted top talent through stock-based compensation packages. Liquidity for investors and employees, the second advantage centers around liquidity. Imagine an e-commerce company. As a private company, their employees and early investors held shares that were liquid. Going public provided these stakeholders with an opportunity to sell their shares on the open market. This not only rewarded their contributions but also attracted top talent through stock-based compensation packages. Liquidity for investors and employees, the second advantage centers around liquidity. Imagine an e-commerce company. As a private company, their employees and early investors held shares that were liquid. Going public provided these stakeholders with an opportunity to sell their shares on the open market. This not only rewarded their contributions but also attracted top talent through stock-based compensation packages. Liquidity for investors and employees, the second advantage centers around liquidity. Imagine an e-commerce company. As a private company, their employees and early investors held shares that were liquid. Going public provided these stakeholders with an opportunity to sell their shares on the open market. This not only rewarded their contributions but also attracted top talent through stock-based compensation packages. Liquidity for investors and employees, the second advantage centers around liquidity. Imagine an e-commerce company. As a private company, their employees and early investors held shares that were liquid. Going public provided these stakeholders with an opportunity to sell their shares on the open market. This not only rewarded their contributions but also attracted top talent through stock-based compensation packages.
Enhance visibility and brand recognition. Going public can also boost a company's visibility and brand recognition. Take the case of a fashion retailer. Enhance visibility and brand recognition. Going public can also boost a company's visibility and brand recognition. Take the case of a fashion retailer. Enhance visibility and brand recognition. Going public can also boost a company's visibility and brand recognition. Take the case of a fashion retailer. Enhance visibility and brand recognition. Going public can also boost a company's visibility and brand recognition. Take the case of a fashion retailer. Enhance visibility and brand recognition. Going public can also boost a company's visibility and brand recognition. Take the case of a fashion retailer. Enhance visibility and brand recognition. Going public can also boost a company's visibility and brand recognition. Take the case of a fashion retailer. Enhance visibility and brand recognition. Going public can also boost a company's visibility and brand recognition. Take the case of a fashion retailer. Enhance visibility and brand recognition. Going public can also boost a company's visibility and brand recognition. Take the case of a fashion retailer. Enhance visibility and brand recognition. Going public can also boost a company's visibility and brand recognition. Take the case of a fashion retailer. Enhance visibility and brand recognition. Going public can also boost a company's visibility and brand recognition. Take the case of a fashion retailer. Before their IPO, this retailer operated regionally with limited brand awareness. However, listing on a stock exchange garnered substantial media attention. This newfound visibility attracted a broader customer base, both locally and internationally, and elevated their brand to new heights. Before their IPO, this retailer operated regionally with limited brand awareness. However, listing on a stock exchange garnered substantial media attention. This newfound visibility attracted a broader customer base, both locally and internationally, and elevated their brand to new heights. Before their IPO, this retailer operated regionally with limited brand awareness. However, listing on a stock exchange garnered substantial media attention. This newfound visibility attracted a broader customer base, both locally and internationally, and elevated their brand to new heights. Before their IPO, this retailer operated regionally with limited brand awareness.
However, listing on a stock exchange garnered substantial media attention. This newfound visibility attracted a broader customer base, both locally and internationally, and elevated their brand to new heights. Before their IPO, this retailer operated regionally with limited brand awareness. However, listing on a stock exchange garnered substantial media attention. This newfound visibility attracted a broader customer base, both locally and internationally, and elevated their brand to new heights. Before their IPO, this retailer operated regionally with limited brand awareness. However, listing on a stock exchange garnered substantial media attention. This newfound visibility attracted a broader customer base, both locally and internationally, and elevated their brand to new heights. Before their IPO, this retailer operated regionally with limited brand awareness. However, listing on a stock exchange garnered substantial media attention. This newfound visibility attracted a broader customer base, both locally and internationally, and elevated their brand to new heights. Before their IPO, this retailer operated regionally with limited brand awareness. However, listing on a stock exchange garnered substantial media attention. This newfound visibility attracted a broader customer base, both locally and internationally, and elevated their brand to new heights. Before their IPO, this retailer operated regionally with limited brand awareness. However, listing on a stock exchange garnered substantial media attention. This newfound visibility attracted a broader customer base, both locally and internationally, and elevated their brand to new heights. Before their IPO, this retailer operated regionally with limited brand awareness. However, listing on a stock exchange garnered substantial media attention. This newfound visibility attracted a broader customer base, both locally and internationally, and elevated their brand to new heights. Currency for Acquisitions, the fourth advantage relates to currency for acquisitions. Let's look at a pharmaceutical company. This company went public to raise capital for acquisitions of smaller biotech firms. By using their publicly traded shares as currency, they expanded their portfolio, gained access to innovative technologies, and accelerated their drug development pipeline. Currency for acquisitions, the fourth advantage relates to currency for acquisitions. Let's look at a pharmaceutical company. This company went public to raise capital for acquisitions of smaller biotech firms. By using their publicly traded shares as currency, they expanded their portfolio, gained access to innovative technologies, and accelerated their drug development pipeline.
Currency for acquisitions. The fourth advantage relates to currency for acquisitions. Let's look at a pharmaceutical company. This company went public to raise capital for acquisitions of smaller biotech firms. By using their publicly traded shares as currency, they expanded their portfolio, gained access to innovative technologies, and accelerated their drug development pipeline. Currency for acquisitions. The fourth advantage relates to currency for acquisitions. Let's look at a pharmaceutical company. This company went public to raise capital for acquisitions of smaller biotech firms. By using their publicly traded shares as currency, they expanded their portfolio, gained access to innovative technologies, and accelerated their drug development pipeline. Currency for acquisitions. The fourth advantage relates to currency for acquisitions. Let's look at a pharmaceutical company. This company went public to raise capital for acquisitions of smaller biotech firms. By using their publicly traded shares as currency, they expanded their portfolio, gained access to innovative technologies, and accelerated their drug development pipeline. Currency for acquisitions. The fourth advantage relates to currency for acquisitions. Let's look at a pharmaceutical company. This company went public to raise capital for acquisitions of smaller biotech firms. By using their publicly traded shares as currency, they expanded their portfolio, gained access to innovative technologies, and accelerated their drug development pipeline. Currency for acquisitions. The fourth advantage relates to currency for acquisitions. Let's look at a pharmaceutical company. This company went public to raise capital for acquisitions of smaller biotech firms. By using their publicly traded shares as currency, they expanded their portfolio, gained access to innovative technologies, and accelerated their drug development pipeline. Currency for acquisitions. The fourth advantage relates to currency for acquisitions. Let's look at a pharmaceutical company. This company went public to raise capital for acquisitions of smaller biotech firms. By using their publicly traded shares as currency, they expanded their portfolio, gained access to innovative technologies, and accelerated their drug development pipeline. Currency for acquisitions. The fourth advantage relates to currency for acquisitions. Let's look at a pharmaceutical company. This company went public to raise capital for acquisitions of smaller biotech firms. By using their publicly traded shares as currency, they expanded their portfolio, gained access to innovative technologies, and accelerated their drug development pipeline.
Currency for acquisitions. The fourth advantage relates to currency for acquisitions. Let's look at a pharmaceutical company. This company went public to raise capital for acquisitions of smaller biotech firms. By using their publicly traded shares as currency, they expanded their portfolio, gained access to innovative technologies, and accelerated their drug development pipeline. Valuation and Exit Strategy Lashley, an IPO can provide a transparent valuation and an exit strategy for early investors. Consider a fintech firm. Early stage investors and venture capitalists often seek a clear path to realize their investments. Going public provides them with a transparent market valuation and an opportunity to sell their shares when the time is right, achieving substantial returns on their investments. Valuation and Exit Strategy Lashley, an IPO can provide a transparent valuation and an exit strategy for early investors. Consider a fintech firm. Early stage investors and venture capitalists often seek a clear path to realize their investments. Going public provides them with a transparent market valuation and an opportunity to sell their shares when the time is right, achieving substantial returns on their investments. Valuation and Exit Strategy Lashley, an IPO can provide a transparent valuation and an exit strategy for early investors. Consider a fintech firm. Early stage investors and venture capitalists often seek a clear path to realize their investments. Going public provides them with a transparent market valuation and an opportunity to sell their shares when the time is right, achieving substantial returns on their investments. Valuation and Exit Strategy Lashley, an IPO can provide a transparent valuation and an exit strategy for early investors. Consider a fintech firm. Early stage investors and venture capitalists often seek a clear path to realize their investments. Going public provides them with a transparent market valuation and an opportunity to sell their shares when the time is right, achieving substantial returns on their investments. Valuation and Exit Strategy Lashley, an IPO can provide a transparent valuation and an exit strategy for early investors. Consider a fintech firm. Early stage investors and venture capitalists often seek a clear path to realize their investments. Going public provides them with a transparent market valuation and an opportunity to sell their shares when the time is right, achieving substantial returns on their investments. Valuation and Exit Strategy Lashley, an IPO can provide a transparent valuation and an exit strategy for early investors. Consider a fintech firm. 
Early stage investors and venture capitalists often seek a clear path to realize their investments. Going public provides them with a transparent market valuation and an opportunity to sell their shares when the time is right, achieving substantial returns on their investments. Valuation and Exit Strategy Lastly, an IPO can provide a transparent valuation and an exit strategy for early investors. Consider a fintech firm. Early stage investors and venture capitalists often seek a clear path to realize their investments. Going public provides them with a transparent market valuation and an opportunity to sell their shares when the time is right, achieving substantial returns on their investments. Valuation and Exit Strategy Lastly, an IPO can provide a transparent valuation and an exit strategy for early investors. Consider a fintech firm. Early stage investors and venture capitalists often seek a clear path to realize their investments. Going public provides them with a transparent market valuation and an opportunity to sell their shares when the time is right, achieving substantial returns on their investments. Valuation and Exit Strategy Lastly, an IPO can provide a transparent valuation and an exit strategy for early investors. Consider a fintech firm. Early stage investors and venture capitalists often seek a clear path to realize their investments. Going public provides them with a transparent market valuation and an opportunity to sell their shares when the time is right, achieving substantial returns on their investments. Valuation and Exit Strategy Lastly, an IPO can provide a transparent valuation and an exit strategy for early investors. Consider a fintech firm. Early stage investors and venture capitalists often seek a clear path to realize their investments. Going public provides them with a transparent market valuation and an opportunity to sell their shares when the time is right, achieving substantial returns on their investments. In conclusion, an IPO is a strategic move that can propel a company to new heights. It offers access to capital markets, liquidity for stakeholders, enhanced visibility, currency for acquisitions, and a transparent valuation. While going public involves regulatory and compliance challenges, the benefits often outweigh the costs, especially for companies with ambitious growth plans. In conclusion, an IPO is a strategic move that can propel a company to new heights. It offers access to capital markets, liquidity for stakeholders, enhanced visibility, currency for acquisitions, and a transparent valuation. While going public involves regulatory and compliance challenges, the benefits often outweigh the costs, especially for companies with ambitious growth plans.
In conclusion, an IPO is a strategic move that can propel a company to new heights. It offers access to capital markets, liquidity for stakeholders, enhanced visibility, currency for acquisitions, and a transparent valuation. While going public involves regulatory and compliance challenges, the benefits often outweigh the costs, especially for companies with ambitious growth plans. In conclusion, an IPO is a strategic move that can propel a company to new heights. It offers access to capital markets, liquidity for stakeholders, enhanced visibility, currency for acquisitions, and a transparent valuation. While going public involves regulatory and compliance challenges, the benefits often outweigh the costs, especially for companies with ambitious growth plans. In conclusion, an IPO is a strategic move that can propel a company to new heights. It offers access to capital markets, liquidity for stakeholders, enhanced visibility, currency for acquisitions, and a transparent valuation. While going public involves regulatory and compliance challenges, the benefits often outweigh the costs, especially for companies with ambitious growth plans. In conclusion, an IPO is a strategic move that can propel a company to new heights. It offers access to capital markets, liquidity for stakeholders, enhanced visibility, currency for acquisitions, and a transparent valuation. While going public involves regulatory and compliance challenges, the benefits often outweigh the costs, especially for companies with ambitious growth plans. In conclusion, an IPO is a strategic move that can propel a company to new heights. It offers access to capital markets, liquidity for stakeholders, enhanced visibility, currency for acquisitions, and a transparent valuation. While going public involves regulatory and compliance challenges, the benefits often outweigh the costs, especially for companies with ambitious growth plans. In conclusion, an IPO is a strategic move that can propel a company to new heights. It offers access to capital markets, liquidity for stakeholders, enhanced visibility, currency for acquisitions, and a transparent valuation. While going public involves regulatory and compliance challenges, the benefits often outweigh the costs, especially for companies with ambitious growth plans. In conclusion, an IPO is a strategic move that can propel a company to new heights. It offers access to capital markets, liquidity for stakeholders, enhanced visibility, currency for acquisitions, and a transparent valuation. While going public involves regulatory and compliance challenges, the benefits often outweigh the costs, especially for companies with ambitious growth plans.
In conclusion, an IPO is a strategic move that can propel a company to new heights. It offers access to capital markets, liquidity for stakeholders, enhanced visibility, currency for acquisitions, and a transparent valuation. While going public involves regulatory and compliance challenges, the benefits often outweigh the costs, especially for companies with ambitious growth plans. However, it's essential to emphasize that an IPO is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It requires careful planning, a compelling business story, and a long-term commitment to shareholders. When executed thoughtfully, an IPO can be a powerful tool to fuel growth, reward stakeholders, and secure a bright future for a company. Thank you for your attention. However, it's essential to emphasize that an IPO is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It requires careful planning, a compelling business story, and a long-term commitment to shareholders. When executed thoughtfully, an IPO can be a powerful tool to fuel growth, reward stakeholders, and secure a bright future for a company. Thank you for your attention. However, it's essential to emphasize that an IPO is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It requires careful planning, a compelling business story, and a long-term commitment to shareholders. When executed thoughtfully, an IPO can be a powerful tool to fuel growth, reward stakeholders, and secure a bright future for a company. Thank you for your attention. However, it's essential to emphasize that an IPO is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It requires careful planning, a compelling business story, and a long-term commitment to shareholders. When executed thoughtfully, an IPO can be a powerful tool to fuel growth, reward stakeholders, and secure a bright future for a company. Thank you for your attention. However, it's essential to emphasize that an IPO is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It requires careful planning, a compelling business story, and a long-term commitment to shareholders. When executed thoughtfully, an IPO can be a powerful tool to fuel growth, reward stakeholders, and secure a bright future for a company. Thank you for your attention. However, it's essential to emphasize that an IPO is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It requires careful planning, a compelling business story, and a long-term commitment to shareholders. When executed thoughtfully, an IPO can be a powerful tool to fuel growth, reward stakeholders, and secure a bright future for a company. Thank you for your attention.
However, it's essential to emphasize that an IPO is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It requires careful planning, a compelling business story, and a long-term commitment to shareholders. When executed thoughtfully, an IPO can be a powerful tool to fuel growth, reward stakeholders, and secure a bright future for a company. Thank you for your attention. However, it's essential to emphasize that an IPO is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It requires careful planning, a compelling business story, and a long-term commitment to shareholders. When executed thoughtfully, an IPO can be a powerful tool to fuel growth, reward stakeholders, and secure a bright future for a company. Thank you for your attention. However, it's essential to emphasize that an IPO is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It requires careful planning, a compelling business story, and a long-term commitment to shareholders. When executed thoughtfully, an IPO can be a powerful tool to fuel growth, reward stakeholders, and secure a bright future for a company. Thank you for your attention. However, it's essential to emphasize that an IPO is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It requires careful planning, a compelling business story, and a long-term commitment to shareholders. When executed thoughtfully, an IPO can be a powerful tool to fuel growth, reward stakeholders, and secure a bright future for a company. Thank you for your attention. の練習はこれで終わりですお疲れ様でしたもしよかったらチャンネル登録をお願いしますそれじゃまたね